Okay guys, so we got a cool clutch of eggs hatching and today's, today's, oh yeah, today is a different day. So I found out today that my daughter is not a ninja. <laughs> you guys always wonder what happens when you don't get out of the way all the way? That's what happens. <laughs> you look ridiculous. The good, <laughs> you look ridiculous. The good news is I haven't seen it, I haven't looked at it yet, hopefully it isn't bad. Uh, it was her birthday a couple days ago, and if you follow me on Instagram, you got to see that. So if you guys want to say happy birthday to the person who runs the whole reptile zoo, <laughs> there it is. I'm supposed to stitch other people up. Not get <laughs> You're not supposed to stitch anybody up either. So anyway, we got a cool clutch of eggs. We got my daughter. We got Josiah. Josiah. Josiah is uh, my brother, my son-in-law. Uh, so that brother-in-law right there, right? <laughs> he married my little, my littlest daughter, Andrea, and uh, well, we're gonna—he's he's helped me out today, and we're gonna we're gonna cut this cool clutch of eggs. This one right here, and this one has already started hatching. And this clutch of eggs is a little bit crazy because you know, look at this. You want to get? You really want to get confused? That's the list of males that were involved. One male, two males, three males. So there's three different males, and I think that we got is two different fathers going on here, but we'll figure it out in time. Okay, your zookeeper's right up here. He's there's, seeing it right up here. He's a junior zookeeper there. <laughs> now you found the, the woes of zookeeping, huh? <laughs> Laura, we're supposed to teach all the parts about the zoo, but not the biting part. I wanted to be very realistic. <laughs> it was very, you did a good job. I mean, we get home, we can take the makeup off. <laughs> okay, so what we got here is we had some questions about the, the bubbles. The bubbles mean that the snakes are breathing, which also means that they're absorbing the yolk, because when they first start absorbing the yolk, they breathe and then the yolk is like literally outside the snake and they start absorbing it in, and that means that they'll be ready to come out. Now these ones have already started coming out. Apparently, when I took the day off after my 20 hour day and running all over Hollywood and, and, and San Diego and taking care of everything, I took the day off and this is what happened on my day off. <laughs> so. I don't like to wait till there's this many cut because it increases the odds of one of them drowning. Uh, I hope we don't find out, and I hope I don't find out that I should have came in yesterday and noticed it. Uh, it's not my job, but it is always my job. I have employees, but one of my employees is having a health issue too, so we're having a fun time around here. His wife had a problem, so anyway, so look at this. So I'm not going to maybe figure out if there's two, one dad, two dads, or three dads in here until further out because right now I can't tell how many dads there are but I have I have I'm suspect but I see a mochino which means that there has to be two dads so but it doesn't maybe have to mean it has two dads I'll figure it out so this one's feisty huh so this one here this one here wants to get me maybe it's just that he thinks my daughter is food today you ready to you ready to cut an egg huh come on around no so here we go. These are reticulated pythons, same as those giant ones in that enclosure way back there. So, pretty cool, right? So, so that it's beautiful. So that is probably I don't even know what that is, but it's probably a motley golden child. This one's pretty unique. I don't remember what happened exactly like that. Uh, I would say it's a motley golden child. Oh, oh it's a super motley golden child. That's what it is. Oh I have God. never. I don't know if we if we've hatched it in what other. Oh, I don't know what God, other. God, God, God. So here you go. Here you go, you guys. Look at this. So shit ran out. It isn't supposed to. So here we go. Look at that. You see that? So it's not ready. That snake is not ready to get out, but he's trying to make the run for it like the rest of them. So I got to try to do three things at once. It's crazy! So we're going to put this back in and let it, it'll, another, another hour, another hour or so. Oh my God! This feisty one, huh? I got to get this worked out. I only got one hand here. There we go. You can tell the one that's the pro, huh? My daughter has a bowl over his head instantly. I still need one more to be dealt with. I got. I got to be careful with this one because he can get. He can actually hurt himself if he pulls that around and drags it and rips it open. But even then, it, it what actually. Is what is that? We we. It'll still be okay. <laughs> what is it that we don't want to rip off? We don't want to rip off the umbilical cord sac. That's actually the 
That's where all his food is and everything. And we want it to absorb like that one right here. I'll show you the ones that absorb. So I'm gonna take this egg and I'm gonna put it right there. And I'm gonna show you guys. So this lump right here, this big fat lump, there's the umbilical cord was, and that one's completely ready, came out. And that's all its yolk right there. That yolk that was outside on that one. So I'm gonna take these, these out. This is a golden child. Are those the ones that have hats? So let's see here. So you can see the big belly on this one. It's got a little tiny bit of the cord, but it's done. And there's a golden child right there. Are these the ones that already hatch? These are the ones that already hatch. Look, 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 look. This one's this one's sliding way out, isn't he? Look at him. He doesn't know what's going on. Everybody's making this hard for me, making it difficult. But I'm gonna look cheat and put these away. <laughs> So now that I've regained consciousness of snakes going out everywhere, we know that that one needs to, is ready, not ready to come out. We have another one that's out, and then of course this one just ran back in the egg. We're gonna leave them in there because they're cut. What we're gonna do now is basically try to make sure that these, these last couple that, that aren't cut are safe and sound. Because this is not a good sign when they're not cut. Uh, it could be a good sign, but you know, in the respects that sometimes if there's a weird one that's special in a weird way, like two heads or something, is in the egg but that's really 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 rare the odds of that we've only had it happen uh, oh, two so times blood. two times in oh. our lifetime in, in 20 blood. years of snake breeding a lot of blood yep, there's always blood so you see all these bled when they cut but be, because it's the it happened a while ago see there's the blood it kind of coagulates and goes away kind of like your nose <laughs> my poor daughter got bit by an iguana Iguanas scare me more than snakes. And, Can you, uh, why, and why is that? Why did I teach you why? What do iguanas have? They have sharp, um, sharp teeth, huh? Teeth, sharp, sharp claws. Claws and a whip. Tail. And a tail to whip That's you right. with. They snakes got, just have a mouth. Snakes have teeth, but they don't have they don't have claws and they don't have a tail to whip you with. So. It's exactly right. Did you get whipped with the tail? Oh, there we go. I didn't. So this Maybe makes me that. think. I think that that's Can you got teach a bunch of our junior zookeeper how you open it. Okay, so you ready? I'm going We got a junior uh, zookeeper here, and he's already experienced more than he's supposed to. <laughs> so we're gonna make sure you experience something you weren't. You're lucky to be here today because a junior, being a junior, you know how long you have to wait to see this happen? 84 days. And this is the last clutch of last season. And so we're not going to have more eggs for another 84 days to hatch or, or so because we have some getting ready to lay. So what we do is the reason why we cut them is even though those didn't need to be cut, there's a possibility that one can drown in the egg because its egg tooth can be broken. It could be just unlucky and not cut the right place or, or try cutting and not get started right or maybe just not smart enough to cut itself out. I don't even know all the reasons. All I know is that there's a fair possibility these last couple eggs that they could, they would possibly die if I don't do it. Unfortunately, we've had a few die, and uh, I feel pretty good about these because the eggs don't look like they're overdue to hatch. That looks like a cracked egg. Like it is now, but not an animal. And here, look at this. This, even though this one hasn't cut, and it's a very large, really fat, really robust, beautiful baby. And so, oh, so what I like beautiful. to do is pull their head out because then I know that there's there's a membrane inside there. You can see it right there. So there's a little membrane inside there. It's actually cut right there. We want to make sure that's cut because we want them to be able to breathe. Because why? Do, what do they do when they're breathing, you guys? You remember? They're, awesome. they're sucking in that yolk at the same time. So they're breathing oxygen, pulling in the yolk that you just saw a minute ago. And so this guy hasn't had no oxygen, so obviously he's got a big fat yolk down there. And we're gonna leave it right you there. You wanna slime our zookeeper? Oh, I don't know if he's up to that. You wanna get slimed? <laughs> <laughs> I might slime you for I getting bit. I don't wanna be so slimed. here's so here's another one. This one looks a little bit makes me a little bit nervous. Uh, it has it has no cuts whatsoever on it, and uh, but it feels okay. Because usually if they go bad, if they're going bad in the egg, they'll get clear like this, and they get transparent. When they get transparent and there's no cuts in the eggs. Man, you almost have to cut it. Even if the eggs are a day or two away, what did you I, mean I, I cut them open. When snakes can get two heads, that can actually happen. They, yeah. We had two have two we had we technically had three that had two heads. Oh my god. But one of them was yeah. a real messed up two-headed one. 
One of them almost lived and one of them was pretty messed up also. One of them actually lived for a while. So this is another beautiful snake. Look at that. Wow. It kind where's of looks, the other end? It kind of looks purplish on the sides. I watched no two heads. <laughs> Those are two babies. Oh, now look. So now here you go, you guys. So this is going to be a snake we're going to save. So what do you know? So we're going to actually, this video is going to be about snaving, saving a snake's life. So wow. this snake is not cut out for a reason. Do you see his neck? Yes. It's entangled in the umbilical cord so tight he can't, he's not going to make it unless I figure out a way to untangle it. See it? So it's, so the good news is it's not as bad as I thought. But that's probably part of what may, messing it up. So I'm going to try to hold it open and it's not, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Now I got to figure out how tangled up it is. Do you see it was completely caught right there, wrapped around the head. And so what that is probably enough to have hold, held its head back from making its proper cuts. So now this snake has a great probability of doing fine. And the fact that it was shrinking already makes me a little bit nervous. So I'm going to, I'm going to make double sure that his head is completely, there's no knot. Okay, good. So there's no knot in the belka cord. Sometimes what happens is when they go around it like that and their head is entangled, there's actually a knot in the belka cord because the snakes crawled all the way around and it's tied a knot in the belka cord. This time it was just wrapped once and his head was wedged in there. So woo! -hoo! This one's gonna be saved and it's a great looking snake. That one's trying so, to breathe. What a lot of it? times I don't even know if I save them or not. Oh but my God. sometimes it's real obvious the ones that have There's drowned so it. There's so much blood. Or the ones that are gonna drown it. How come some snakes that have cut blood's not coming out? Because they cut themselves and, it, it, and it's been sitting for a few hours. Hmm. So when they first cut themselves they bleed and then the blood subsides in the egg. Hmm. So, so the ones that aren't I don't think there's anything the live born that's born alive that doesn't have blood. A lot of blood. And animals are born, it's kind of bloody. Maybe small animals don't have that much blood. Oh, they do. How do small animals When dogs have it? Do they need the blood. The blood is. The blood is their life, right? Yeah. That transfers all their oxygen, all their food in their life. Everything's got to go through that blood. So I think we successfully have cut the eggs that we're gonna hatch. Now it's just a matter of see what we got. <laughs> so I'm gonna, look at this, now look at this one. This snake is, look at how many cuts. It's got a cut here, it's got a cut there, 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 it's got a cut right there, and it's got a cut right there. That snake might, we're gonna have to take him out and name him Freddy Krueger. <laughs> Cause I mean, that's a lot of cuts. <laughs> And he still hasn't figured out a way to get out. <laughs> That's but not good. The amount of cuts don't hurt anything uh, at all. It just, <laughs> except it doesn't let me see what's in there very good. But I can see it's a very beautiful, it looks like it's a super motley. Look at that. Whoa. Isn't that pretty? You see its it, eyes? It has red eyes. That's new. That's right. And you know why it has red eyes? It's because it's an albino. It's an albino. So it's all white because it's a super motley. It's probably a super motley golden child. Uh, it's an albino, and it's could, and it looks like it could be. Let me see here. And possibly a sunfire. So we have sunfire. So nothing could be super sun, but everything could be sunfire, and that's a really pretty snake. Really pretty one, all white with red eyes. I'll show you one that's similar in a minute. You guys want to see that? Yeah. Okay. So let's see what we got here. That's really cool. So this is a mochino. I'm assuming it's a mochino. There we go. Where's its head? It's there it it's is. It's the other direction. So there, there you go. So it's a real pretty snake. Looks real healthy. I'm going to make sure he stays oh in his egg. Oh my god! Hey, back in your egg. <laughs> get, get back in your egg. It doesn't want to go back in its egg. No, he just wasn't sure what he wanted to do. So. Oh, look at that. There's another one. He Now, once in a while, they cut like this, and they'll get their nose stuck really bad. He's not stuck, so he can pull right back in. But they cut just, they cut a hole too small, and then they push real hard through, and it gets caught right in their neck, and they can die that way. And so there's a few things that we're out to make sure it doesn't happen. That's why I cut bigger holes. So this is a motley albino. That's a motley albino sunfire. Wow. So a it's lot very of pretty. And a, uh, albino sunflower. Yep, there you go. See, there's the red eyes, but not as red as the other one because it's not a 
It has an X on it though. There you go. Whoop, 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 whoop. Hey, you. There you go. There you go. These are brave snakes. Either that or they don't want to be insta famous. Come on, where are you going? Where are you going? Okay. He is really ready to come out. So, so this is a this is a now this one here. Oh no! Oh no! Look at the camera girl. Camera girl got chewed on already, but not by one of these. So there we go. I'm gonna put him in the box with the other ones because going everywhere. Ooh, the camera. That one's yeah. moving. I've never really been in a video before. Okay, so now you have. Say hi to YouTube. Oh, oh hi YouTube. Never <laughs> been in a video. Me, me neither. Okay, let me show you guys that snake that I was gonna. That I told you was like the one we just had. It looks like it got its nose stuck, kinda. So here's what that snake will look like after it comes out for a while. See the red eyes? Look at the eyes. Oh my just God. like the other one. So this is real similar. Uh, it's got sunfire. It's got blotching on it. It's really cool. It's got bright red eyes. It's almost the same as that, but this could be one more gene of genetic stripe. So, but it's just definitely a super motley. And now that I see this one, that's a super motley golden child, uh, sunfire. Which, because you see the head, it has yellow on it. So that one doesn't because it has. It's got golden child in it, so it wiped out the rest of the pattern. This one right here. So it this, looks like oh, one of them got their nose I lost stuck. a snake. I lost a snake. Which one was the egg? Man, now I don't even know which one it was. Too many eggs. That one right there. So that one, oh, now I can see it. It's not as white. It's got it's got the golden child overlay in it. That one looks so like, like it's ready to hatch. Right there. Yeah, it is. They're all ready. So I'll show you guys one more really cool snake just to show you all the different kind of, just to give you an idea of the varieties that we can hatch, but not necessarily in this clutch. Look, look. Those eggs are gonna break pretty soon. Oh, look at that, you guys. Whoa! Wow. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> Yellow head. So we're making them all different colors. They're all the same kind of snake. They're reticulated pythons. So when you guys see this on YouTube and you're wondering why there's so many colors, it's because that's what we're actually trying to do. We use what people our, our natural accident and in the wild we take those natural those accidents and make them that into beautiful paintings moved. with different snakes so no accidents for us we like that is right there it just moved the very end